Today we have with us John Staley, Vice President of Global Compressor Operations in Siemens Energy. Welcome, Mr. Staley. Hi, Evelyn. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm so glad you're here. I was just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about Siemens. Sure. Siemens is, is a big company, one of the biggest companies in the world. Uh, they're headquartered in Germany, and they've got 350,000 employees, and, and uh, they, they sell 100 billion euros worth of equipment every year. Uh, so it's, it's a huge company, one of the biggest companies in the world. And, and we're part of their power generation and oil and gas division here in Olean. Um, it all, wasn't always Siemens here. Wasn't it Dresser Rand before? That's, that's correct. There's a, this, it's a long, long history here. Um, and uh, where I'm sitting today uh, was established in 1912 uh, by a couple of brothers called the Clark Brothers who moved their operations here to this very site in Olean from their prior facility in Belmont, which is just a little bit east of here, after it apparently had burned down. So they, they, they built the facility here and it was uh, known as the Clark Brothers. Um, and then over uh, many years to this point in time, the ownership of the company has evolved. It was purchased by uh, Dresser Industries and became known as Dresser Clark. And, and then there was a joint venture with a competitor called Ingersoll Rand, and we became known as Dresser Rand. And then in 2015, we were purchased by Siemens. Now, you're talking about oil and gas. I don't think about that here, but why, why Olean then with oil? Good question. Uh, when people think oil and gas, they, they think of Texas and Middle East, Saudi Arabia, and uh, you don't think of Olean. And, uh, and, and today that's absolutely true. Uh, but back in the beginnings, the, the origins of the oil and gas industry, believe it or not, was right here in this part of the world. So uh, the very first oil well was drilled in Titusville, Pennsylvania, not very far from here. Uh, Fredonia, New York became the first city in the world to, to have their streets lit with natural gas fired street lamps. Oh, wow. uh, and uh, because of that, because of the oil and gas industry being born here, uh, a lot of uh, uh, different companies were established to support that industry because it became almost like a gold rush back in uh, the mid 1800s. And uh, people were getting very rich and a lot of uh, jobs were created supporting the, this industry. So uh, the, the, the Clark brothers uh, under, under Dresser at the time changed their business model from their prior model, which was serving agriculture uh, and lumber industries, building equipment for those industries, to building equipment, compressors specifically, to support the, the, the new booming oil and gas industry. Uh, so so that's why uh, it, it was established here in Olean, and, and uh, you know, luckily for us, we've been here ever since. Well, that's great. Now, didn't you say behind you somewhere there used to be an uh, oil... What was it? Yes, a refinery. Yes. So, so when you get oil out of the ground, uh, you, you need to, you need to clean it up and make it usable, which is, uh, and, and turn it into other products. And, and that process is referred to as refining. So oil refineries uh, were, were established to do that work. And it's more economical to have those refineries closer to the source of the oil. So uh, numerous refineries were built around this area. A couple still exist today in, in Pennsylvania and Warren and Bradford. And, and yes, right outside my window, there used to be at one point in time, a refinery uh, owned by Standard Oil at the time. Um, but uh, when, the, when the industry sort of migrated out of this area down to Texas, a lot of these refineries were shut down, including the one that used to be behind me here, which no longer exists. Uh, but, but once upon a time, it was there. Well, now we, we've talked about the present and the past. What about the future? Well, uh, we're still the largest employer in, in, in the southern tier here in the Cattaraugus County. Uh, so we still employ a lot of people. Um, we, we employ a whole variety of different people, but the, the vast majority of the people working here are engineers. We, we custom design each compressor for a specific set of customer requirements. So it requires engineers uh, to do that work, to interpret what the customer gives us and, and translate that into a product and design that product. And one of the unique things about us here in Olean is not only do we design the product, but we actually build it here. So, so a great thing for an engineer is you can actually see your, your design become reality. So 
uh, engineers create the design and, and then we buy the materials and we machine those materials here and we end up uh, assembling and testing the compressor just outside here in, in our factory. And uh, uh, so it, it, it's great for engineers because they, they get to see their, their work become reality and uh, it's a great learning experience for engineers as well because there's uh, quite often problems along the way and they, and they have to go out on the shop floor and figure out how to solve those problems and, and uh, they become better engineers because of that. And uh, it's quite fulfilling because at the end of the day, we can successfully pass our testing out here and, and you, know, you can watch a compressor get boxed and packaged up and put onto one of these huge trucks and pull off the, off the campus. So uh, I think it's a little bit unique in that respect. And the whole community gets to see that truck too. Huge trucks, yes. 